Welcome. My name is John Flett. I'm a pediatrician at the Busamed Private Hospital. Over the last year, I'd like to give you my perspective as to what I see parents coming to see me with. And they often have a lot of difficulty understanding why their child can't concentrate at school, yet they don't see that at home. You know that attention problems are very common in school-aged children. So what is normal and what's not? Is it just a child that's having some difficulty with other types of problems? Teachers often see the problem. But you as a parent say, well, I don't see these problems. My child can play video games. They can often do things that I ask them to do if I keep an eye on them. So I don't really think that there is a problem. And at what point do you kind of say to yourself, look, I've heard this teacher telling me throughout 2022, my child has a problem. You need to have it addressed. They often say to you, you know, the concentration problem is stopping your child fulfill their true potential. It's having a big impact on their life. They're daydreaming. They start out staring out the window. Uh, they have difficulty, sometimes they're disruptive. They're unable to complete their work. And they're struggling with their learning. So, at what point do we think that these are an issue? So, how do you know if your child has an attention problem and has concentration difficulties that go outside the norm, that are more than just... A passing phase. It's been going on for a long time throughout the year. And what should you look out for? So there are a number of things that I'd like to share with you that you should look out for and consider. And this will help you come to the conclusion that there is an issue. Your child is not able to sit still in the class, is easily distracted, has problems organizing themselves, is constantly losing things has difficulty completing their schoolwork, has poor handwriting compared to other children of the age, is experiencing learning difficulties, displays behavior problems such as a bit aggressive, moody, irritable. They might also have problems with friendships such as difficulty making and keeping friends. They can be clumsy poor coordination skills, have difficulty on the playground, often with sports. So it's not just a concentration problem that you should think about. These are the group of difficulties that I specialize in because they often present in a way that parents don't often see. And the teacher often sees these problems. And it is essential to consider all aspects of their general health while trying to work out what is the cause. So what I would like to talk about is, you know, they can have a significant impact on learning. And the challenge is to work out what comes first. Is it a problem with concentration or is it a secondary learning difficulty? So what are the common causes that we need to think about? that could possibly impact your child's learning. Do they have a problem with sleeping, with a poor routine? That can impact a child the next day. Is the diet a problem? Are they addicted to sugars? Do they have difficulty with picky eating? This can really impact concentration in the classroom. Are they addicted to screens, have excessive screen time, especially before going to bed? Do you see difficulties at home, such as with, you know, recent, maybe there's a problem at home with the social dynamic, separation, family trauma. You know, sometimes children are on chronic medications that cause problems, such as with low iron, they could have thyroid problems, vitamin D problems, and zinc. Those are the things that I kind of think about as a holistic approach. If your child is having difficulty concentrating, it is important that you see an expert 
that can examine your child. Often generalists don't see that. They see you for five, ten minutes. Parents have this, this perception that just being a doctor is going to be able to pick up these problems. I'm afraid that's not true. These are highly specialized areas that are not always that obvious to general doctors. So if you're worried about ADHD or your child has a learning difficulty, you need a concentration expert. You should chat to your teachers. I often find teachers are so well tuned into these problems because they see your child relative to all those other children in the class and they see through those issues. So if they constantly asking you to have a second look at your child's concentration, don't just kick the can down the road. Make sure that you take this seriously because a teacher won't often have the ability to tell you straight what they think because they often have parents that are not receptive. So if these are some of the issues that you are kind of experiencing, you know, it needs to be dealt with in a lot of detail, someone who has the insight into these. We often get parents to complete questionnaires that include attention, concentration. We look at neurologically, we look at the whole social background, tests your child's head, whether it's difficulty with learning, with the coordination, whether they've seen occupational speech therapists, physiotherapists, maybe they've had some anxiety issues. These are all aspects that can impact your child in the classroom. And in the next video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail as to how can we help the concentration.